What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Today I want to take a look at the season finale for Season of Lost, or as many Guardians feel after the last two weekly resets, the lack of a season finale. We'll be taking a look at some recent developments in the game to see what Guardians can expect out of this upcoming weekly reset which will without a doubt be featuring the season finale and the long-awaited exorcism of Savathun. As always, if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Now this week's reset was a rather big disappointment for many Guardians, like myself, who were expecting to see Savathun's exorcism and get the much needed conclusions that we have all been waiting for. So why didn't we see anything new this week? Why hold off to the very last week to release the season finale? While there could be a number of reasons why, I think the most logical reason is that while Guardians have been looking for a season epilogue to Season of the Lost, Bungie has looked at Season of the Lost more as a prelude into Witch Queen. So while many Guardians have been expecting some grand boss battle at the end of the season, along with several questions being answered, I think this won't exactly be how things play out. I think Guardians can expect to see a final astral alignment, followed by a week-long live event initiated by i Ray to track down the emergence of the Lucent Hive who will begin teleporting across the galaxy through their deep sight portals once the events of the exorcism take place. Now, based on the leaked audio files that I've covered on the channel previously, which, spoiler warning if you want to wait, we know that the exorcism does happen this season and that Savathun does escape. We also know that as a result, we and Saint-14 return Osiris to the tower, and then we meet with Ikora to inform her of the results of the exorcism. Now, this week's reset did provide us with a much needed visual representation of our progress within the astral alignment activity. Now, we can actually see significant progress here with the bridge that's being formed which will ultimately lead us to the location of Sabathun's exorcism, which is why that I expect that on Tuesday's reset, Guardians will be auto-loaded into an astral alignment activity, just as we were at the beginning of the season. This final astral alignment will bring the bridge to a completion and allow Guardians to begin the exorcism of Sabathun at which time I would expect that Guardians will get a hefty dose of cutscenes, more so than any additional mission or objective. Once the astral alignment is complete, Guardians will have to return to the tower and speak with Ikora, and it's here that I believe Guardians will be introduced to an in-game Guardian briefing similar to what Bungie released on its website this week. This, I believe and hope, will lead us into a galaxy-wide manhunt for Sabathun, which will act as this season's live event, transitioning Guardians into the release of the Witch Queen. Now, as we've learned with recent promotions, Deep Sight Portals and Lucent Hive will be some of the new features added into the game with Witch Queen. And with Bungie pushing this next year as its most ambitious, I think it's more than possible that Guardians will begin to see deep sight portals emerge across planets like the Moon, EDZ, and even Dreaming City throughout this final week, giving Guardians a taste at what it will be like to not only face off against Sabathun's new forces, the Lucent Hive, but to understand what it will be like to be a psychic detective investigating these deep sight portals. Now, maybe I'm being a little overzealous here, but this would not be abnormal for Destiny to do, as we've seen similar events transition us from one season to the other. And we've seen that, such as the Vex beginning to portal their way through the galaxy before Season of the Worthy. Now, whether my projections turn out to be reality or not, I think this final week of the season will be an extremely entertaining week for Guardians, 
and even though it may not be what many have been anticipating for out of this season, which has been over four months long, I believe that the season finale will be made into the perfect transition into the release of Witch Queen, which launches in less than 10 days at the making of this video. That's going to wrap things up for my projections of the season finale. Let me know how you think things will go down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like button along with that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Both are greatly appreciated and really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane wishing you some happy hunting.